Just harder among us. <laughs> so I'm really good at like mind deceit games like that. I used to be really, really good at Town of Salem. So I could easily be good at Among Us. I just don't try because I don't really think it's a game to try in. But yeah, I gave my offline chat a bit of a story time. Whenever in season one of Overwatch League, three three or four teams lived in the same apartment complex. So we would do the we would do t IRL Town of Salem games like every weekend. It was so much fun. We had like 10 to 20 person Town of Salem games every weekend. And uh, our manager would moderate the games because you need a moderator IRL. Um, he would moderate the games and he ended up teaching me how to moderate. So fun fact, I know how to moderate Town of Salem IRL. It's pretty fun. I actually enjoy moderating Town of Salem. Play it with OTV? I don't... I don't know anybody. I don't have any friends IRL. Dude, that would be so fun! Dude, if I had friends, we could do IRL Town of Salem videos. Because I know, I know offline TV used to do like Mafia and stuff IRL. Imagine them doing a big Town of Salem game IRL. That'd be so cool! Yeah, I remember offline TV used to do a lot of like IRL like game videos like that, like board game videos. IRL Town of Salem would be so cool to watch, I bet. I would love to do I would love to moderate Town of Salem for them. I'd have to practice a bit because I haven't moderated Town of Salem in uh over a year or two. But I think it'd be really fun. <laughs> I don't expect to get that opportunity by any means. I'm just saying it would be cool. Where's this one? I have trance here. You can swing for free. I'll trance you. I'll trance you. Oh, I'm dead! What is offline TV? Uh, it's like a group of streamers and stuff. YouTube content stuff, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna evolve it. <laughs> DM Pokey? I'm not gonna DM Pokey about that. Yo, chat. You guys kinda stinky ugly today. People glad I was just kidding. You guys are cute as always. Hope you're doing fine too, sleepy people glad. Rose. Manifesting me becoming part of Offline TV? No. That would never happen. If they were looking for new members, there's many of the people that they would choose before me. And number two, there's just a big, like, this is actually this is actually something that's kind of weird to think about. And I hate to break this immersion for you guys, but I'll do it. Um, there's actually a pretty substantial age gap between the bigger content creators right now and people like myself. I never really noticed that until like a couple months ago, but there's a pretty substantial age gap. A lot of people in offline TV are like, you know, mid late 20s, almost 30s. I hate to break that immersion for some people who think that they're like, you know, pretty young like them. I mean, they're still young for sure. But a lot of them are on the older, not not old like fucking dying, but like they're on the you know late twenties. It's weird to think about. Very weird to think about. I think it's a, not a good time. I never noticed that until you can do better. Late twenties is old. Okay, you guys are like totally misunderstanding the words I'm saying. They're 21, 22, really and 28, 30 is a substantial gap in maturity, in the way you act, your, like the way you grow up, stuff like that. It's very different. I think anybody who's in that age gap could easily attest. It's very different. So it's weird to think about that 
you know, there's that much time. I don't know. It's kind of like a good thing. It's almost a good thing because a lot of content creators take life very fast. This is more of a serious topic, I guess, but I think a lot of content creators, a lot of esports players are kind of forced to take things very fast because it's kind of just the vol like the is the volatility the right word it's just the way that the culture is you know you kind of have to take things very fast because you never know how long it's going to last so me being 22 i feel like i'm like on the back end like i could be fucking gone in a year right so it's pretty like comforting to see that there is still people six years ahead of my age that are still huge massive content creators it pretty much just gives me the comfort that there's still time left and i don't know what could happen in the next few years right because i mean i the, the future scares for me personally the future scares me a lot and i'm scared that i'll just fucking fade into irrelevance in like a day i'm a very insecure person just naturally but it's pretty comforting to know that there's like just a lot of time left still. It's cool. And I'm not I'm not trying to call them fucking old boomers. It's a comforting thing that they're like you know, massive content creators and they're also a bit on the older end. A lot of streamers feel the same way. Oh yeah, it's a like I said, it's a very normal thing. A lot of streamers feel it. I feel you, Janie. That's like what John has been telling me about. John has been telling me he's been feeling pretty like out of the loop because of the whole Panera bread. Someone shut the fuck up of this diva, bro. Just go shot on her out there. I understand your point, I think. You gotta get more time to figure this out. Yeah, pretty much. It's just kind of like the, uh, I mean, you guys, I'm sure a lot of you have heard the saying, like, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And that's kind of what Twitch is to some content creators. And I, and I need to, like, remember that sometimes, is that Twitch is kind of a marathon. A lot of people will take content creation as a sprint, like they're only going to be in it for a year, and they're going to be out of it. But I think if you do things right, and, you know, you're a good person, I think it can totally be a, a marathon. You know, you could spend a lot of time in it. You have a lot of time to figure things out, do things you like, with all that kind of jazz. Die, motherfucker! Can I squelch chat the diva? Yeah, I got you. Is it their diva or our diva? It's their diva, right? Let me fucking put her in a coffin really fast and then. What's her name? RKSC. Yeah, I'm dropping and dropping. Get up, get up. Yeah. I got you. You didn't realize she was spamming? I mean, yeah, a lot of us are just trained to not pay attention to the fucking game. So. <laughs> 99 HP, not even fucking close. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's nice that I have time to figure myself out. Soon, I will grow up and come to the realization that I don't have to keep playing this fucking game if I don't want to. But who knows? <laughs> Look, I think, I think personally, I don't think it's necessarily that I feel like I have to play this game. I don't think that's my issue. I truly believe that my issue is... More so that I just don't have anything else to play. I don't really feel obligated to play Overwatch. I just don't have anything else to play. Like, every other game is, like, just as fucking bad. So what else would I... Why would I not just play the game that I'm known for and, like, pretty good at, you know? I'm able to, like, brain dead play this game and it doesn't really get me down or anything. Whereas, like, if I brain dead play Apex... It's impossible to watch. You, you can't brain dead play that game. 
If I brain dead play Apex, I will just die on repeat, die on cooldown. It'll be boring as fuck to watch. I actually think Overwatch is probably more fun to watch if you're not trying than Apex is. But try harding in Apex is pretty fun to watch, I feel like. And like actually like doing well and stuff, it's pretty cool. Oh, this shit. As easy as it is to shit on Overwatch, you guys have to realize that I wouldn't be able to talk to you guys nearly as much or give as much attention to you guys if I was playing other games. Because I have to pay a lot more attention in those games. Which means the the content being made on the game has to outweigh me talking to you guys, that content. Which is hard because a lot of games are fucking boring as shit to watch. Like tabs, tabs is funny, dude. Tabs is really good, but I can't. Tabs is like a once in a once every few weeks type game, or once every few days. Yeah, Overwatch is just a good like, I don't know, background game. It's pretty solid for that. Like I said, it's like Counter Strike surfing, dude. You just listen. It's just it's just eye candy while you. Listen to me fucking TED talk all day. Oh, a little late, sorry. I'm chancing the torb. He's one, he's one, he's one. Bye! I could try Genshin. Uh, I'll pass. I don't think Genshin's fun. My bad. Low key glad Gen Genshin got cancelled. <laughs> Genshin's pretty dumb. I I I've been against Genshin since it came out. Genshin got cancelled? Yeah. I saw it was getting cancelled on Twitter a couple days ago, or a week ago or so. Play of the game. <laughs> I'm not saying that's why it's like down or anything like that, I just thought it was funny. I saw it was getting cancelled, it was kind of funny. Rust makes you miss Jay. I miss Jay so much. Jay has been playing Tarkov, dude. I wish